The path to Godhood is not a mere fantasy or a distant dream, but a real and tangible possibility that lies within your grasp. The ancient mystery schools and wisdom traditions have left behind a roadmap to the stars, a science of ascension that can guide you to the highest realms of consciousness. At the heart of this science lies a profound understanding of the human body and its sacred energy centers. The ancient Egyptians, under the guidance of the legendary Atlantean priest King Thoth, knew that the key to unlocking the secrets of the universe lay hidden within the very fabric of our being. Thoth spoke of the sacred energy centers that run along the spine, vortices of light and power that connect us to the infinite source of creation. These centers, which would later become known as the chakras in the Dravidian civilization, are the gateways to higher dimensions of consciousness. To ascend to these higher realms, we must first learn to activate and align our sacred energy centers. This is not a passive process, but an active engagement with the forces of transformation that lie dormant within us. The first step on this path is to cultivate a deep awareness of our body and its subtle energies. Through practices such as meditation, breathwork and yoga, we can begin to sensitize ourselves to the flow of life force that animates our being. As we deepen our awareness, we may begin to feel the stirrings of the Kundalini energy, the sacred serpent power that lies coiled at the base of the spine. This energy is the key to unlocking the full potential of our sacred energy centers and to ascending to the highest realms of consciousness. But the activation of the Kundalini is not a task to be undertaken lightly. It requires a deep commitment to the path of self-purification and self-mastery. We must be willing to confront and transform the shadows and blockages that lie within us, to surrender our ego and our attachments, and to align ourselves with the highest will of the universe. If you plan to take action on the wisdom I explain in this video, then give us a like and subscribe. It helps us grow and in turn, we help you grow your spiritual essence into Godhood or Christhood. Now let's move on to the next section. To aid us on this path of transformation, the ancient mystery schools have left behind a treasure trove of sacred practices and techniques. These practices are not mere rituals or superstitions, but powerful tools for rewiring our consciousness and activating our latent potential. One of the most fundamental of these practices is the art of sacred sound. Through the use of mantras, chants and toning, we can attune our body and mind to the frequencies of the universe and open ourselves to the influx of divine energy. The ancient Egyptians knew the power of sacred sound and used it to activate the sacred energy centers within the body. They understood that each center resonates with a specific frequency and that by sounding these frequencies, we can stimulate and awaken these centers. Another key practice on the path of ascension is the art of sacred movement. Through dance, yoga and other embodied practices, we can release the blockages and stagnation that prevent the free flow of energy through our bodies. The ancient mystery schools taught that the body is a sacred temple, a microcosm of the universe itself. By learning to move our bodies in alignment with the sacred geometries of creation, we can tap into the power of the cosmos and accelerate our journey of ascension. But perhaps the most important practice on the path of ascension is the cultivation of sacred intention. Our thoughts and beliefs have a profound impact on our reality, and by aligning our minds with the highest truth of our being, we can manifest our deepest desires and aspirations.
the ancient Atlanteans understood the power of intention and used it to shape the very fabric of reality itself. They knew that the universe is a malleable field of energy and that by focusing our will and imagination, we can bend this field to our purpose. To cultivate sacred intention, we must first clear our minds of limiting beliefs and negative thought patterns. Through practices such as affirmations, visualization and dream incubation, we can plant the seeds of our highest vision and watch them blossom into reality. I hope these concepts don't fly over your head. Please take a second to ask questions in the comment section below as well. As we progress on the path of ascension, we begin to experience profound shifts in our consciousness and our perception of reality. We may have visions, dreams and intuitive insights that reveal the deeper truths of the universe. These experiences are not mere hallucinations or fantasies, but glimpses of the higher dimensions of consciousness that lie beyond the veil of illusion. They are the signposts that mark our progress on the path and the confirmation that we are indeed evolving into our divine nature. But the ultimate goal of ascension is not simply to have these experiences, but to embody them in every moment of our lives. To become a living God, we must learn to anchor the frequencies of the higher realms into our physical body and our daily existence. This is the true meaning of the alchemical maxim. As above, so below. By bringing the wisdom and power of the heavens down to earth, we can transform ourselves and the world around us. We can become the living embodiment of the divine, the walking temples of the Most High. To achieve this state of embodiment, we must cultivate a deep sense of presence and mindfulness in every moment. We must learn to see the sacred in the mundane, to find the extraordinary in the ordinary, and to infuse our every action with the power of our divine will. We must also learn to surrender to the flow of the universe, to trust in the wisdom of our higher self, and to let go of our attachment to outcomes. The path of ascension is not a path of control or domination, but a path of alignment and co-creation. As we embody our divinity, we become the living answer to the prayers of the world. We become the healers, the teachers and the guiders that humanity so desperately needs. We become the midwives of a new era, the architects of a golden age. But this is not a path for the faint of heart. It requires courage, discipline, and a willingness to face the shadows within and without. It requires a deep commitment to the truth and a readiness to let go of everything that no longer serves our highest evolution. Yet, for those who are called to walk this path, there is no greater joy or fulfillment. For in the end, the path of ascension is the path of coming home to our true nature, of remembering the God that we have always been. So if you feel the stirrings of this call within your heart, know that you are not alone. Know that you are supported by the love and wisdom of the universe and that your every step is guided by the hand of the divine. Take a deep breath, child of the light, and let us begin this sacred journey together. Let us ascend to the highest realms of consciousness and become the living embodiment of the God that we truly are.